Hi, I'm Joni Petrie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the power of Uranus because it is really making some aspects this month of November and particularly in December. This is the planet of major awakenings. It is in an astronomically powerful position for the next couple of months. One of the things I have to say is that it's about to go through its last and final square with Saturn. And every time Uranus and Saturn are in a hardcore position, which is a square, conjunction or opposition. This happens about every 11 to 12 years. This is so meaningful because there has actually been some amazing studies on sun activity, which creates major shifts and changes on the planet as well. This happens every 11 years. And Saturn square to Uranus happens every 11 and 12 years as well. What meaningful energy is that. So before I, let, I move on, I want to remind everyone to sign up for my free newsletter, which is which you can find that on galacticcenter.org. When you sign up for my free newsletter, you will get all of my predictions delivered to your email address. And while you are there at the Galactic Center website, check out my beautiful new spiritual jewelry by Satya, but it is my designer collection. I have designed this myself. Here is a doubled pearl mala and turquoise. These are spiritual representations uh, for our life. Check it out galacticcenter.org. Let's get on and start and continue talking about how powerful this aspect of Uranus is. Now this month of November, I also noticed that Uranus is opposing, because it is in Aries, opposing the transit of so many planets in Libra, where we have the Sun, Mercury, and Mars all in the sign of Libra. As Uranus aspects it, it causes turbulent, major, explosive events, sudden changes, disruption, things we didn't anticipate, things we didn't see coming. And Uranus actually rules what? Airplanes and earthquakes, earth changes. You're going to see some major rumblings of the earth for the next couple of months because of this. This actually is happening November and December. And one thing I do want to point out is my book on Uranus. I wrote three books during the lockdown, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. If you want to know more about these planets, I covered things in the utmost detail and most of all about Uranus, its energy, what it's all about. Now, remember I say it is the great awakener. This is exciting because we're about to awaken to a whole new dimension on planet Earth with this planet setting up all these oppositions to these planets. Now, also I noticed early November, around the time of the new moon, November 4th, we have Uranus opposing exactly the new moon. What is that? A new beginning, a new start of revelations. This is a time of revelations, awareness, newness. A lot of people may not be ready for this. And another thing I have noticed Uranus rules is cryptocurrency. And I know a lot of you are like tired of me talking about it, but it's the wave of the future. It's how we're going to exchange money, like it or not. This world is changing. I always say, and this is a fact, nobody could understand how credit cards were going to work. They were opposed to them. Look where we are today as well as the internet. Nobody understood that. It's the same with cryptocurrency. That which you don't understand, don't judge. Because do you really understand how electricity works in the light bulb? You don't have to understand it to use it, is my point. So 
you're going to see these changes and cryptocurrency, the rave and the rage, it's coming more so. So Uranus has a lot to do with that. The new, the unexpected, revolutionary changes. And another thing Uranus rules is rebellion. Yes, people are rebelling against the conditional, conventional norm. People want freedom. That's actually another keyword, freedom for Uranus. But most of all, it's awakenings. And don't forget, it rules astrology. Yes, this is seeing the future. What's on the cutting edge? What's before us? These are the new trends. But what I want you to know is all of that energy of Uranus opposing the new moon and then all of the planets transiting in Libra gives this whole month a level of new awakening. But the fact that Uranus during this time, being in Aries, Aries is an impulsive, energetic, futuristic, fast moving sign. It rules energy, Aries, highly energetic, ruled by Mars, very, very poignant and direct. But the nakshatra, Barani, the whole symbol be between Barani is when you outgrow something and you have to break free. And this whole symbology in Barani actually rules the, its symbol is the womb that the baby sits in. So it deals with the birthing process. So we are birthing a whole new world as Uranus is in this position, aspecting all the planets throughout this month of November, December. And it's going to be setting up for the last and final square with Saturn, meaning watch out all the old conditions that didn't work before that Saturn are being released and we're breaking through those final old patterns bringing a new awakening to this world. How exciting is that? But does, is it going to be easy? No. Think about how painful it is to be born. Childbirth. That's what it's all about. But that is what this planet is all about. Nothing comes that's really worth it without a little bit of pain, right? Working out, all of the things that we have to do. What's the saying? No pain, no gain. That's what I feel like Uranus is all about. No pain, no gain. We have to go through this awakening experience to get to the other side. Will it be worth it? Absolutely. That's where we're going. And those that can't handle change. They're going to be miserable because Uranus above all else is the planet of change. And if you can't handle all the big changes coming, guess what? You're going to be miserable. Yes, your world will be difficult. So what do I say always? Surrender. And that's actually the power of Pluto. We have got to surrender. And as we do, we let go of the need to be in control. And by letting go of the need to be in control, all gifts of the divine are given. And that is a promise. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me, or you would like to sign up for my university, learn Vedic astrology with me, go to my university website, which is university of Vedic astrology.com. And we're starting new classes semester one in January. You won't want to miss it. And then again, don't forget, check out my jewelry, check out me, go to my website, galacticcenter.org. Thank you.